A very good morning to each and every one. How are you all doing, my dear students? Fine, ma'am. Good morning, okay. ma'am. Very good. Very good morning. Very good morning. My dear students, I request you to take page number 22. Page number 22 of your English Literature Workbook Part 1. Page number 22. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Requesting everybody to keep their devices muted. Yes, that's good. Okay. Now, the first topic that we are going to do today is, learn today is about prefixes. Prefixes. Okay, prefix. Prefix. Serafina, mute your device, my dear. Prefix. Literature workbook part one. I send messages to you regularly about which book you need to take, the notes that you need to complete. Page number 22. 22. Please keep the books ready before the class. Okay. Yeah. As I have instructed just now, the topic that we are going to learn today is about prefixes. Prefix. Prefix. Okay. Prefix. Prefixes. P R E. Pre. P R E. Pre means before. Pre means before. Page number 22. Pre means before. Okay. That means we need to add something at the beginning of a particular word to give it a change of meaning. Now, all of you know that every word has a particular meaning, right? Every word has some or the other meaning. So when we add a prefix to a particular word, it gets a change in the meaning, in its meaning. Okay. It gets a change in its meaning. So a prefix, prefix is a group of letters. It is a group of letters that we add to the beginning of a word. Where do we add a prefix? Prefix. We fix it. Where? Pre. That is beginning of the word. Before the word. In front of the word. There are so many words which can be used to address the same meaning. Okay. Prefix. Beginning of a word. Why do we do that? To make a new word, to make a new word with a different meaning, with a different meaning, okay? Sometimes when we add certain prefixes, we get the antonym of a word, that is the opposite of a word. And sometimes the word, the new word just has a different meaning. It is not necessary to be for it to be a, an antonym or an opposite of the given word. Is that clear to you all now? When we do uh, yes, the sir. examples, it will be clearer to you. Okay? Yeah. So, let us uh, revise the initial part. Prefix. 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 Pre means before. Pre means before. Okay, pre means before. So, what ex exactly is a prefix? It's a group of letters, group of letters that we add to the beginning of a word. Where do we add a prefix? To the beginning of a word. Why? Why do we add prefixes? To make a new word to make a new word which has a different meaning. Okay. Some idea you have got? As yes, and when we do the examples, you will be 
clearer about it. Okay, my dear students, so there is nothing to worry about. Okay, Janita, please read the first example. Ma'am? Mm. Light. Light, very good. Now read the second column. In the first column, we have the word that we are going to use. The second column, we have the prefix plus the word. Now read, Janita. Read it as it is printed there. Okay, ma'am. This plus mm. like. It's equal to dislike. Very good. Now read the next. Opposite. Uh, no, no. It gives the meaning of the prefix. Meaning. What is the meaning? Opposite. Opposite. In. Meaning. Opposite in meaning or has a negative meaning. Right. Negative. Negative also means the word opposite. Only. Negative means opposite meaning. Okay. Okay. Then example. Read the example. I, mm. I dislike people who tell lies. Who tell lies. Who tell lies. Yes. Dislike. So who can tell me the meaning of the word dislike? Dislike. Memorable. Yes, try. Dislike. Like, dislike. To not like something. Yes, to not like something or someone also. Dislike means to not like. It can be anything. Maybe a person, maybe a thing. Dislike means not like. So now did when you added the prefix this, did you get the antonym of like? Yes, we added yes. the prefix yes, this to the word like and we got the word new word dislike. dislike. It is a new word and it is the antonym or opposite of the word dislike. Now, did you understand the usage of prefixes? Yes, Prefixes are groups of letters or a group of letters that we add at the beginning. beginning. Pre means beginning of a word to make a new word with a different meaning. Sometimes the meaning, the new word will have a negative or antonym, opposite meaning. Is it clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Nora, read the second example. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Kind. Mm. Un plus kind. Mm. It's equal, equal to, to unkind. unkind. Very good. Continue reading. Continue. Opposite in meanings negative. Oh, negative. Very good. Example. The children were unkind to the kitten. Can you tell me the meaning of the word unkind now? Unkind means? Not kind to anyone. Very good. Not kind. Unkind means not kind. Is that the antonym of the word given? Kind. Yes. Is it the antonym of kind? Unkind. Yes. Not kind. Now see, adding the prefix, we got the antonym of the word that is given to us. Did you understand why it is done now? Ma'am. Yes. Good effort, my dear. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Ma'am, Prano can. Yes, Prano, read the third one. Right. Right, very read good. Plus right is equal to rewrite. Very good. New meaning. New meaning. Rewrite is not the antonym of right. Yes? Yes. Rewrite has a totally different meaning. That is why it is printed here. New meaning. Okay, read the sentence. We were asked to rewrite our homework. Yes. Now, Pranav, can you tell me the meaning of the word rewrite? What does it mean? Rewrite. Rewrite. Right. Sorry? Again, write. Yes, write again, not again, write. Write again. Rewrite. Sometimes if the students don't do the assignment in a neat way or the classwork or homework in a neat way, 
the teachers will instruct them to rewrite the thing, right? Rewrite. Rewrite means to write again. Very good, Pranav. Thank you. Dia, try the next one. Dia Denny. Unmute. Deva Mitra, mute your device. Dia, read the next word. P O. Possible. Possible. Yes, very good. Others wait. Read the next. I am M plus. Mm. Come on, read first. Mm, impossible. Opposite in. Opposite in meaning or has a negative meaning. Now read the example sentence. His. No. I T it. It was. It was. Hmm. Hmm. Impossible. It was impossible. Uh, to. To compete. To, to compete. Hmm. To compete. Mm -hmm. In the race with a broken leg. Yes. It was impossible to compete in the race with a broken leg. To compete means to participate in the competition. To compete means to participate in a competition. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So the antonym of possible is. Impossible. Impossible. So by adding the prefix im to the word possible, we have got the antonym of the word possible. That is impossible. Okay, good, Dia. Thank you. Aiden Rojo, read the next one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, read it. Ability. Ability. Very good. Next. In plus ability mm, is equal, equal to inability. Inability. Very good. Now read the example sentence. Negative. Mm, opposite in meaning or has a negative meaning. Okay. Example. Is inaccessible. Inability. He is inability in, is inability to speak mm -hmm. in French. Okay. Difficult, difficult for him to tra travel. Travel in France. Travel in France. Yes. Inability. Inability means to not be able to do something. Ability means. To be able to do any particular work. Ability. The antonym of ability is inability. Ability, antonym or opposite is inability. His inability to speak in French made it difficult for him to travel in France. Inability means not having the ability to do something. Not being able to do something. Did you understand now? Yes. So, what is the antonym of ability, Aiden Rojo? What is the antonym of ability? Inability. Inability. Very good. Okay. Thank you, my dear. Good effort. Chinmay, switch on the camera. Anunaya, please read the last one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, read the last one. Lead. Lead. Miss uh -huh. Lead. Mislead. Mislead. What, ma'am? Mislead. Mislead. Mm -hmm. Opposite in meaning or mm -hmm. negative. Very good. Example. 
we should not mislead others by telling lies yes very good very good lead do you know the meaning of the word lead anunaya lead no ma'am to show the right direction to show the direction lead a leader leads a leader always tells us the right way to move ahead right lead yes. means to show how to move ahead lead and mislead means to show the wrong way of go wrong way wrong way of doing going it can be anything something wrong it has a negative meaning mislead we should not mislead others by telling lies that is why the example says we should never mislead we should not give give wrong information not give wrong information to others by telling lies we should always try to speak the truth and help others right understood so what is the antonym of lead uh to to no no antonym antonym uh, opposite of lead uh, just now we added the prefix miss and we made the antonym of the word see opposite in meaning or has a negative meaning so what is the new word that we got here by adding the prefix miss the direction no my dear look we got a new word what is the new word that we got by adding the prefix miss um you look here at the table the word is lead we added miss to it and we got a new word mislead 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 we added the prefix miss to the word we got the new word mislead and the antonym of lead is mislead mislead what is the antonym of lead mislead mislead okay so what have we done here in some words we have added the prefix and made new words so some of the new words are antonyms of the given word and some of them are a totally new word having a totally different meaning understood anunaya the others so tell me once again what is the antonym of lead mislead very good now you have understood it okay opposite in meaning it is written here opposite in meaning words that have the opposite meanings are called words that have opposite meaning are called antonyms antonyms as simple as that words that have the opposite meanings are called antonyms or opposites anunaya is it clear to you now okay okay very good effort my dear thank you let's try the next examples okay here in exercise 2.1 we have to complete the table by combining the words Ma, with the correct Ma, prefixes yes Ma, hmm. the base words are given here in the column base word honest cover place pure sufficient and cycle and the six prefixes are given on top so we need to choose one and write the answer okay sometimes two also can be used with a single base word the first example is already done honest honest so to create a new word we have used the prefix dis and dis plus honest we got the word dishonest dishonest that means not honest is dishonest the antonym of honest is it dishonest means not honest not honest is it the antonym of honest yes yes the antonym of honest is dishonest 
Understood? Yes, ma'am. Dishonest. Okay, let's try the next one. The next word is cower. 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 Cover. Sorry? Cover. Very good. Uncover. Please write with me. Uncover. Uncover. There can be more words created. Sorry? Uncover. What is the meaning of uncover? Not cover. Uh, not to cover. Uh, to cover. reveal something. Uncover means to reveal something. Reveal. reveal. To reveal something. To reveal something. Uncover. uncover. Reveal. It's called reveal something. Yes, yes. Reveal something. Uncover. Can you suggest any other uh, prefix which can be used with the word cover? Recover. Recover. Very Recover. good. Recover. You can also Recover. add here. Recover. recover. What is the meaning of recover? To, to get well. Recover means to get well. The boy recovered from his illness. The boy recovered from his illness. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, yes. We want to write recover also. You can write both the words. Okay. It will help you to understand that you can use many prefixes with a single word. But make sure that each new word that you make has some meaning. Am I right? No, this you can write directly in the workbook. Workbook answers you can write directly in the workbook. We have done this in the uh, first examination, right? Yes, ma'am. PT1, the same way. For workbook, you can write the answers in the workbook itself. Okay. Adnan, try the next one. Case. Others mute. Place. In. Sorry? In. Which? In. No. As. And Janita can try. No, Adnan, let him try. If you lose something, which word do you use? By mistake, if you keep something at a wrong place, how would you, which, which word would you use there? Miss. Sorry? Miss. Miss place. Yes, very good. Miss place. And if you want to change one Miss thing place. with another thing, then? Replace. Replace. Yes, fantastic. R-E-P-L-A-C-E. -E. Replace. Misplace or replace. Misplace. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, replace. Replace. Yes, both can be written. Thank you, Adnan. Roshid, try the fourth one. Pure. 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 Mm, pure. Impure. Impure. I M P U R E. Impure. Impure means not pure. So the antonym of pure is impure. 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 Okay, impure. very good. Thank you. Amaya, try the fifth one. Ma'am, we can try displace. Misplace, replace, displace. Yes, definitely. Displace also is right. Displace. D I S P L A C E. Displace. Very good. Displace. Yeah, come on, Amaya, be first. Number five. Mm. The next word is sufficient. 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 Sufficient means enough for use. So, which uh, prefix will you use to make its antonym or a new word? In. Insufficient, yes, very good. I N S U F F I C I E N T. Insufficient. Insufficient, Insufficient. yes, very good. Amaya, thank, thank you. you Aiden, try the new word cycle. 
Cycle. Aiden, try the new word. Cycle. Cycle. Oh. Sorry? Cycle. Yeah. Try which prefix will you add to the word cycle? cycle. Sorry? Cycle. Spelling? R E. Yes, very good. Recycle. Recycle. Do you know the meaning of recycle? Recycle. Yes. Cycle. Recycle. Recycle again. Recycle. Tell me one thing that can be recycled and used to make new things. Recycle. Waste. Waste. Yes, very good. Waste Let can be recycled. We need to. Hmm. Come on, write all these. Did you complete the work? Yes, ma'am. Completed. Yes, ma'am. I okay, completed my work. Okay, okay. Very good. Those who have completed, take exercise 2.2 .2 on the same page. 23. Ma'am, I took it. Okay, I may mute your device now. Aryan. In exercise 2.2, .2, we have to complete the sentences by using the suitable prefixes with the words in brackets. For every sentence, there is a word in the bracket, given in the bracket. Did you notice? We have to add the suitable prefix to the bracketed word and write it there. Come on, Aryan, read the first question. I need to... Others mute. I need to dash my... Read louder. My Water bottle. Before. Mm, before. Ma'am, my audio is clear. No, you need to read a little more louder. Ma'am, my brother. It's okay. Try, try. Before we. Before. Before, before we leave. Before we leave. Hmm. Movie. For the movie. For the movie. Okay, so the word in the bracket is fill. Which new word will you use here? Fill. Sorry? Fill. Did you say refill? Yes. Yes, refill. What is the meaning of refill? Fill the water body. Fill the water bottle again. Refill means fill again. We always do that, right? Whenever we are moving out of our homes, we fill the water bottle with water so that we can, we, we can drink it when needed. We, I need to refill my water bottle before we leave for the movie. So which is the prefix that we have added here? Re. Re. R-E. Re. Very re. good. Very good. Thank you. Yes, Agnes, try the second one. Mm. You can't. You can't leave. Mm. You can't leave. Your work dash. The word in the bracket is finished. Come on. You can't leave the work? Unfinished. Yes, very good. Unfinished. What is the meaning of unfinished? Not finished. Unfinished means not finished. Yes, very good. Unfinished means not finished. Completed, ma'am. Unfinished. Okay, very good. Who's ready to uh, read the next one? Unfinished. Yes, come on, try. Ma'am, Rida. Yes, Rida, try. Nobody, Nobody likes mm. polite behavior. Mm. Nobody likes dash behavior. 
the word in the bracket is polite so which prefix will you add to the word polite nobody likes hmm um, what is the antonym of polite polite means very good behavior right polite full of respect so which impolite yes impolite not unpolite impolite mm -hmm. i am we have to add the prefix i am to make the antonym impolite understood impolite means not polite impolite means not polite ishan read the next one number 4 hmm read the first line. the line the line dash appeared hmm into the jungle okay appeared sorry unappeared no is there any word like that unappeared think and tell me the answer hmm mm. what is the antonym of appeared disappeared 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 yes very good the antonym of appeared is disappeared so ishan which prefix have we used here ishan yes this uh, the prefix used is this we have added the prefix this to the word appeared and the new word that we have got is disappeared which is the antonym of the word appeared appeared disappeared okay very good niharika try the next one number 5 was lost because she fell dash question to the house hmm. Hmm. yes in correct sorry in correct i'm correct is it un or in ma'am nihari ga in un or in in correct in incorrect incorrect yes it's not incorrect it's incorrect 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 what is the meaning of incorrect correct incorrect means not correct incorrect means not correct or wrong incorrect means not correct or wrong Okay, very good. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you write the answers? Yes, ma'am. Written. Incorrect. The antonym of correct is incorrect. Incorrect. The word incorrect has the meaning wrong. Okay, the last one. I'm Nora. Yes, try. I, I dash understood my friend and mm. fought with her. Okay. Which prefix will you add to the word understood to make its antonym? To understand wrongly, to wrongly understand somebody. Yes. Yes, you are right. Miss. Take Nora. Misunderstood. 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 So, which prefix are we adding here? Miss. Miss. Yes. Very good. Misunderstood you, means to wrongly understand somebody. misunderstood so which is the prefix that we have added here miss 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 misunderstood 
misunderstood means to wrongly understand somebody did everybody complete the answers yes okay very good i uh, let me stop sharing here i'll be sending i'll be sending the notes to you at that time i request you to please check whether you have marked the answers correctly or not okay okay thank you very much thank you thank see you, you in the next class bye bye, bye. 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 bye.